Hello chess friends and welcome to your Zadok chess channel and welcome to another crazy attack play by the most powerful chess engine in the world by Stolfish17. Today we see the fish battling it out against another top engine in Ruby Chess in an amazing Neo Greenfield defense in which Stockfish will show us again a new uh, beautiful attacking ideas, really great theoretical novelties, but then also sharp, sharp tactics all over the board. So put your seatbelts on and enjoy again in the wild attacking game by Stockfish 17. So let's dive now into the game with the white pieces. The fish open with move d4, knight to f6 by Ruby Chess, knight to f3, g6, g3. Blow, both engines played so far a Fianchetto setup. Bishop to g7 so black is trying to go in sort of a greenfield defense with the move d5 we have now casting by ruby chess and now c4 of course stockfish is trying to play now the normal stuff knight to c3 if the position is allowing it also maybe to go into the king's indian defense and similar stuff similar structures like in the king's indian with the potential e4 move d5 uh, here by the ruby chess going into greenfield structures c takes d5 and now after knight to d5 the issue here a little bit for black is that white did not play in this different move or the normal move knight to c3 usually uh greenfield defense player wants to reach a position when the white is uh white's knight is already on c3 and then a potential potential knight takes c3 uh b takes c3 then to push maybe the pawn on c5 and activate then the bishop in a great way but this different mover is not allowing that after knight to d5 uh, stop which continues first of all with casting and prepares now the normal e4 move knight to c6 now by ruby chess preparing now the move e5 to somehow break uh the center that white built here and stop which continues now finally with knight to c3 now comes knight takes c3 b takes c3 and you see now c5 is not working because of this move knight to c6 but ruby chess has this opportunity to break and enter with the move e5 and that's ex i think a good approach so far by uh, ruby chess um, this position has been reached many many times in top grandmaster level with i think equal success uh, when you when i watch now the database 20 percent 23 percent of winning games were by white 23 percent were uh, winning games by black and 54 percent were drawish game so i think pretty pretty good approach so that's why i decided to show you this game because i think this is a playable position for both sides but let's see now how stockfish is cracking uh, this attacking idea here by black after move e5 stockfish continues with bishop to e3 connects now everything around the square d4 e takes d c takes d and the issue a little bit positionally for white is here that white is continuing the game with an isolated d pawn it's not this fully isolated pawn it's temporarily isolated it can be of course improved later uh, with a potential e3 move it could be maybe supported but so far it becomes of course an object of black's attack and what should you do now from black's perspective there is of course the main rule uh, when you pay, play against an isolated pawn that you should block out uh, this po possibility of this um, uh, pawn movement you should play of course bishop to e6 and then th that's exactly what ruby chess did bishop to e6 is the correct way because you should create a blockade against uh, the potential d5 move that's the way to go you should never never allow this pawn to be advanced but if you try to play more tactically with bishop to g4 this move actually believe me or not would be a mistake it seems tempting that you attack the knight which is of course protecting the pawn here but then rook to b1 white would play a counter attack and if you try to protect this one then finally d5 is working look at this you get out of this dark square mess you now advance the pawn uh, if knight to e7 happens then you can pin the knight further or you can stay on this diagonal for a while and after rook to e8 e4 uh, white is much much better here white would play rook to e1 rook to c1 normal stuff would simply even try somehow to advance the pawn to e5 so positionally uh, this is much much better position for white of course not completely winning or something but i think in ai level stockfish would simply destroy in this setup so even if you try instead of rook to b8 to protect the pawn if you go for the uh, d4 pawn with the potential bishop to have three move again it's not working because you're just winning a pawn temporarily white gets the pawn back you maybe get rid of the bishop here but if you allow maybe uh, something like this then look at this this pawn is weak this pawn is weak if you allow here maybe a battery on the seventh rank this could be also dangerous maybe against the f7 pawn then to try bishop to c5 attacking the rook and maybe grab even the f7 pawn if as i said both of these rooks would be lined up white has a great, better king with the potential king to g2 you solve then all of the tactical problems so again not a not a good continuation here for black so bishop to g4 i hope we we uh we finish that now this announced because 
this move is really really not working here for black so after, after move c takes d4 that's why bishop to e6 the normal stuff how to play against the isolated pawn we have now h4 great attacking move becomes here a theoretical novelty really really amazing stuff in move 12 we have now a completely new position in which stockfish is trying to create new attacking chances in, in which stockfish is trying now to dismantle somehow this pawn structure in front of black's king and <laughs> what should you do now from black's perspective if you try maybe this idea to cement the position in front of the isolated pawn which is a great strategy then bishop to g5 could happen you try maybe queen to d7 then knight to e5 uh, could be possible knight to e5 d takes e5 leads now maybe into this continuation where uh white could then try here this kind of a pawn storm on the king side with this five versus three situation could be also very very dangerous if f5 happens this could be very very uh, messy here so that's why uh, ruby chess didn't want to go into this line even if you try h5 to somehow stop h5 by white then again bishop to g5 queen to d7 e3 now you finally fix the position uh, in front of uh, in front of the uh, in, uh, around the square d4 and now maybe if even if bishop to h3 happens after a couple of trades of pieces here uh white would can then continue with the beautiful c file attack would continue with bishop to f4 hitting this one queen to b3 hitting this one um, many files are opened but only for white a uh, white would then great attacking uh, have great attacking chances on the queen side with the heavy artillery so this also not working so after move h4 that's why rook to e8 uh here play by ruby chess stock which continues with bishop to g5 anyway and now queen to d7 f6 is not working here because after bishop to f4 bishop to d5 again too many too many great options here for white queen to a4 e3 is going to happen uh pawn on c7 this week you blocked out your own pawn uh, you blocked out your own bishop with the move f6 so obviously not a good setup here for black maybe playable but uh much much better position uh here for for white after bishop to g5 that's why queen to d7 we have now the move e3 finally stockfish solves the positional problems of the isolated d pawn and now after rook from h to c8 <coughs> here stockfish found a beautiful beautiful attacking idea stockfish plays now the amazing rook to c1 continues with the c file attack anyway allows here actually ruby chest to pick up the pawn on a2 and it seems so that this is dangerous because black has created now two connected pass pawns on the queen side but stockfish had really really cool ideas in mind actually you have to even accept the challenge because even if you try to play something like knight to b4 then a3 and you'll never be able to play something like bishop to a2 again and then after knight to e5 here white should be much much better so after rook to c1 uh, Ruby just accepted the chance so played now bishop to a2 and now comes the mean idea here by the fish stockfish plays now the move knight to d2 and the issue about this move knight to d2 is that you cannot bring the bishop back in a good way into the defense if you try something like bishop to e6 here then uh, knight to e4 would come then with a huge threat of knight to c5 if you try b6 then we can pick up this one with a tactical threat of knight to f6 and then uh, bishop to c6 you could maybe try here bishop to g4 but uh, queen to c2 is going to happen you're trying something like this but look at this even knight to c5 again is working because you pick up uh, the queen but white is also picking picking up the queen you step back with the bishop but now again knight to c5 and there's nothing that can be done this pawn on b7 will be lost even if you protect it then knight takes b7 followed with queen, bishop to c6 is maybe winning in even the exchange so obviously completely completely busted here position for for black so i wanted to show you that bishop to e6 retreating with your own bishop here is simply not working anymore so it's almost like this bishop after bishop to e2 is somehow trapped not really completely trapped but the position is trapped if you if you uh step back with the bishop again so after bishop to a2 and knight to d2 stockfish took now many squares for the light square bishop uh ruby has tried to play bishop to d5 instead of bishop to e6 but now e4 and that's the move that we have discussed in the beginning that's the progressive plan that white wanted to get in the first place we have bishop to a2 d5 now the pawns are rolling we have now knight to b4 with the threat of maybe to play knight to d3 but now stockfish plays a beautiful 
a calm spectacular move king to h2 and stockfish is now getting out of the potential maybe bishop to d4 uh attack by black because stockfish wants to push down the pawns f4 e5 maybe i don't know f5 whatever the position is allowing but now the pawns are rolling here so what should you do now from black's perspective uh here in the game a5 was played fixing the knight which is perfectly fine if you try knight to d3 to attack the rook i wanted to also show you this line because attacking the rook here is not an option for for black because white can afford himself even to play something like rook to a1 allow here even black to pick up the rook so it's actually not even a threat to move knight to d3 because if you try to step back now to protect the bishop then there are several checkmate threats then we attack the knight then we attack the bishop here and in a potential line like this okay black would then have two rooks against three minor pieces but uh, with such a weak king without the dark square bishop in front of black's king again i think completely completely winning position uh, in one moment white is going to open some diagonals for sure against black's king so it's simply game over here for black my stock for the engine and homey violets this position as plus five in uh, white's favor so here after king h2 that's why a5 fixing now the knight on b4 stockfish continues now with h5 b5 here by uh, ruby chess trying to do something with this majority of pawns uh uh, on the queen side but look at this both of these minor pieces the knight on b4 and the bishop on a2 actually are standing in the way of uh, black's black's potential progress here on this side of the board so they're 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 bothering here black there's just just uh, loose pieces and they're simply also we have to know this too far away from the action they're simply out of game and stockfish uses now this moment and continues with an amazing h6 attacks now the bishop bishop to f8 but now the bishop has left uh the attack of this diagonal great attacking idea here by the fish and stockfish plays its signature move with a with an amazing rope to c3 stockfish gets finally also the last attacker into the game the rook on c1 attacked so far the c file but now it's attacking also the king side uh, with the potential rook to f3 move really, really amazing stuff ruby chess continues with a4 tries to do something on this side of the board but now bishop to h3 attacking now the queen and the rook ruby chess has to cover and now rook to f3 putting more pressure look how this rook come into the game in a spectacular way what should you do now from black's perspective if you try rook to uh, rook to e5 here to protect everything uh here around the square f5 actually this is not working because bishop to f6 is going to happen you have to step back in one moment and now we play bishop to f5 that's the tactical goal we'll see this opportunity also in the next couple of moves bishop to f5 is actually the huge huge tactical threat because if you pick up now the piece then rook to f5 is going to happen with the threat of queen to g4 you have to maybe uh, cover with the bishop and then after bishop to g7 queen to g7 rook to g5 is winning the queen and it's obviously game over so really, really wild stuff so even rook to e5 is not working in the game rook to b8 was played by ruby chess and now stockfish continues with bishop to f5 anyway a very very great tactic let's see now what happens if we play g takes f5 then rook to f5 again with queen to g4 threats or after rook to e4 you could maybe try uh, to do something like this to somehow uh, disconnect this pawn from e4 to from the defense of the f5 score but now queen to f3 brings now the queen into the game and again notice that both of these pieces the knight on b4 and the bishop on a2 are simply too far away from the action rook to d4 can be maybe played but then knight to e4 comes in a great way with knight to f6 ideas if you try this i don't know knight to d5 then we attack the rook you step back maybe look at this rook to d5 knight to f6 is again happening or Maybe you're trying queen to f5, you're getting rid of many pieces. Uh, maybe black could go into somehow a dubious position where, okay, you have two bishops against the queen and you have three pawns that are rolling. But the endangered king position is, I think, the huge, huge problem here. There's simply too much pressure uh, with the rook and with, with the queen, obviously, in some of these lines. Black could be even checkmated. So, really, really amazing stuff. So, after bishop to f5, the issue is here that you cannot pick up uh, here the bishop. Really, really amazing. After queen to d6 by ruby chess, Stockfish continues now with bishop to h3. Keeps his piece on the board. Rook to b6 and now rook to f6. Attacking now the queen. Queen drops back and now after a couple of trades of rooks here, we have reached now this position. And this bishop is hanging, so that's why Stockfish includes now the knight into the game, attacks the queen, uh, protects now the bishop, and again, there is a new tactical problem. You cannot play uh, queen takes e4. 
if this would be the case it would be a perfect perfect position for black but then rook to e1 uh, look at this the queen is lined up on the e-file and again you lose the size and material you could maybe give up the queen here for the knight uh for the rook but obviously again completely completely winning position here for for white so crazy crazy position so after knight you have three that's why queen to c7 now comes an amazing move here by the fish queen to a1 attacking further the dark squares if you try now rook to e4 then bishop to f4 uh, leads into a very very complicated position bishop to e6 look at this you're trying to cover the knight to g5 in one of these lines also black gets completely completely destroyed that's the beauty about this move queen to a1 it's actually not allowing here black skin to escape and if one check happens on lies course there are even of course several checkmate patterns here so after queen to a1 we have now a3 finally ruby chess is doing something but it's a little bit too slow again bishop to f4 even if you step to d8 in the game uh queen to uh, uh, queen to c2 was played by ruby chess but even if you step back here to d8 then look at this this pawn is rolling you cannot take because of rook to d1 you could maybe try rook to e4 then this pawn is marching you try maybe again to give up this uh, dangerous bishop you try maybe to do something like this but in a potential tactical sequence the issue is now queen to e8 would be then a huge huge uh, tactical threat and then even if you try to cover uh, your own queen then the knight is hanging so look look how stockfish connects now everything all over the board it creates always simple threats and then in one line you can even uh, lose maybe here uh, here the piece so really really amazing stuff so for bishop to f4 queen to c2 was played by ruby chess but now stockfish continues with queen to f6 queen takes e4 here by ruby chess and now bishop to e5 uh there are several threats of bishop to, uh, queen to h8 so that's why rook to e5 had to be played and now after knight to e5 this is completely completely game over queen to d5 has to be played in order to save uh somehow in the game but now a uh, rook to d1 uh, epic epic move and after queen to f7 and knight to f7 in this particular position or will be chess resigned so let's see options after rook to d1 you could maybe try queen to b3 uh to stay on this diagonal but then actually rook to d8 is winning you cannot do anything about it so uh this bishop is uh, locked here and it would be also game over so after knight uh, rook to d1 queen to f7 knight to f7 it's game over because even if you grab now some pieces then again rook to d8 is winning you can maybe try a2 but then uh, queen to g7 would be also also an epic checkmate so who great game great attack against uh, the neo greenfield defense with really cool cool new ideas uh, ruby chess found in the beginning some great defensive ideas but stockfish is from a different planet stockfish simply attacked the position further allowed here ruby chess to pick up the pawn just in order to include new pieces into the attack so this is simply simply chess from another dimension so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed a lot of interesting stuff in the neo greenfield offense if you want to see some other sharp brilliant attacking games like this check out our commented chess games play by computer series here's the link of our playlist and if you like this content hit the subscribe button see you soon with some more videos and what do we say in the end chess is the best of course